What's up guys, Scott Lett here, owner of Iron City Power Washing. Um, knocked out a commercial job this morning at daylight. Uh, now my business partner and our techs are doing a residential job. I'm headed to meet some property managers um, to discuss some planning um, for some apartments we're cleaning uh, that are coming up. So um, I posted a little something earlier um, it's an email I send the property managers along with the map of the property um, and I, I set a schedule into place to show them what buildings um, we're gonna clean on what day um, and I also throw in a touch-up day or just an extra day in case you know it rains or something were to happen uh, with my crew uh, one of us gets sick and we get behind um, just throwing an extra day um, just to have a little cushion there so that's what i want to talk about guys is um, cleaning apartments um you know a lot of you newer guys you're probably um probably not really compliant as far as insurance is yet um you know a lot of property management companies require certificate of insurance um workers comp um you know this is for more of the more experienced companies who you know have gotten to the point to where you know you've tapped into the commercial side of this industry so um, but for you guys who are just getting started, this is also good information. Um, so apartments, they're all different. Um, every property manager, management company is different. Every property manager is different. Um, but the best thing you can do is plan well um, and plan ahead. Um, you don't want to just get an apartment job and show up and start cleaning. Um, that's going to be an absolute disaster. Uh, the reason being is because the residents, you know, they need to know that you're coming. So um, one of the biggest aspects of planning um, for apartments is letting the property manager know what days you're going to be there um, so they can notify the residents. So um, if you're going to be cleaning the buildings and the breezeways and the curbs and the sidewalks, um, you know, you need to pick a section of buildings you can do that day and sidewalks and let the property manager know you're gonna do it that day so they can, the residents can move their cars, um, they can move their mats, their plants, all that kind of stuff. So the more you can do on your end as far as planning, the easier the job is gonna be. Do not show up to an apartment complex without planning with the property manager and just get to work. That is gonna end in an absolute disaster. You're gonna get a lot of complaints to the point where it's gonna make you look bad, even if it's not anything you can really do um, because you were hired to come soft wash the breezeways clean the buildings um, service clean the breezeway concrete um, clean the curbs um, and there's always gonna be cars there's always gonna be people um, there um, but the more you can do on your end before you show up to the property um, the easier the operation the smoother it's gonna be for you <clears throat> for you and the less headache I'm still sick um, Another thing you have to look for, guys, is, is water sources. Um, do not show up to the property and just expect to just find a bunch of water sources. It never happens that way. Um, I've cleaned, I don't know, 50 plus apartment complexes. Um, there, There's only been one occasion where every building had a water spigot. There's only normally a few. And the reason that is is because um, the property management company or the manager doesn't want their residents to just start using that water um, to clean their cars, wash their dogs, clean themselves, whatever they want to do. Um, you know, they're, they don't want residents just using water for free. So they usually only have a few designated areas of where um, there may be water. You know, some properties may be cool with the residents using water. I don't know but it's a very rare thing to just have water everywhere. So um, taking a day, um, you know, maybe the week before you start the job, you know, meet with the property manager, get to know her. She's gonna be your best friend or your biggest enemy, um, you know, before you get out there. So really try to make friends with the property manager, make sure you guys are on the same page. Um, and from that aspect and, um, got one of my buddies I haven't talked to in a long time calling me but uh and then make sure you know where your water sources are and then just have a list of requirements um for for the property manager to send out to the residents you know like 
um, if they have any plants or animals or doormats they don't want to get wet you know, they're responsible for getting those things inside um, if they have a ring doorbell you know we're going to cover that if it's if it's not covered but you know, it really is their responsibility to cover that so uh, but yeah there's just things guys you have to think of uh, before showing up to these multifamily properties and just watching it's never that easy okay people freak out about chemicals you know i'll let the property manager know that hey we're using a very low concentration of, of chemicals here it's not going to damage um you know any plants it's not going to kill any animals um it's not going to do any harm um you know and it does have a smell to it but we make sure we put our um, cat five in there which is a perfume that covers it's a scent cover uh to cover the smell of sh because um, if you just use straight sh um, it's going to smell a couple of days later especially in the summer so when you're cleaning these multifamily um, properties make sure you have some some kind of way to cover the scent of sh um, because it's going to look good but people are like man that smells really bad um, and all these things guys I'm telling you is experience based it's not opinion these are factual points I'm making here so um, you know whether you use them or not I don't really care I'm just trying to tell you guys like we clean a lot of apartments um, and just setting the expectations for your property manager to relay to the to their residents is only gonna make your life a whole lot easier okay um, and make sure at the end you walk the property with the property manager you don't want to say hey I'm done you know and then the next week you're you're slam packed with jobs and then oh you get a call hey can you you miss this this and this hey why didn't you do this you know so before you even start the job make sure you do a thorough walkthrough of the property manager make sure there's a clear scope there um, and then once you finish the job you know make sure you do a you know a thorough walkthrough to make sure that you hit everything that you know you you put the bid in for okay you don't want any miscommunications okay don't get upset if people complain there's going to be an old lady come out saying you know she doesn't want you there uh, there's going to be people come out and say hey I'll, can you clean my individual patio we're not doing that you know so um, you know a lot of these apartments have you know three or four levels and each person has their own patio I'm not climbing up on a ladder and cleaning everyone's individual patio I'm not doing that that's not included so and I, I include that in my message to the property manager to relay out you know, and if they come out and ask me, I'm gonna send them to the leasing office. Property manager can answer that question. Um, and I just don't communicate with the residents. You know, uh, I'm not doing it. I just say, hey, you can go talk to the property manager. Hey, you can go talk to the property manager. Oh, excuse me? Hey, you can go talk, talk to the property manager. I'm not doing it. I'm there to do one job. Y'all called me to come out and quote this, this property. Here's my quote, you accepted it. Okay, now I'm coming to clean it. Here are my requirements, here are the things that is going to make this smooth for everyone involved all right so anyways we have an apartment complex coming up next week we're going to be out of town uh doing that one so i'll be able to record some of that and then we have another one here in town um the following week as well so we have a lot of apartments come up but these are just some pointers guys to help you guys um who clean a lot of multifamily properties apartments condos whatever it may be and uh, just just plan ahead, you know, make sure the property manager and you are on the same page. Make sure y'all are friends and on good terms um, because property managers can make or break a contract. So, all right, guys, Scott Lett, Iron City Power Washington. Hope you guys have a great week um, and hope you guys stay free from getting sick because my family and myself have been sick for like a month and a half. All right, see y'all.